Just when you thought it was safe to start talking about British politics, a new terror arrives, so destructive that it goes beyond imagination. With the power to wreck international friendships in a single sentence, welcome to the world of this trust. <laughs> You might think those words were quite harsh. You might even go so far to say as, why is he using Airplane? Well, in fact, Airplane is well connected to the world of Frank Drebin and Police Squad. And what Liz Truss has managed to do in a matter of weeks is almost a copycat of Frank Drebin's opening in Police Squad. The key difference with Liz Truss is one, she is the foreign secretary. She is meant to be trained and advised as to what to say in matters of international diplomacy. The second is, unlike Frank Drebin, who attacks the enemies of the United States, Liz Truss, in a matter of weeks, has attacked friends and foes alike. And wait till you see the end, where she undoes herself. Frankly, we're in deep trouble if Liz Truss goes into power. I've not seen Boris Johnson cause this many international gaffes in such a short space of time. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America. So let's have a look and see what Liz had to say at the latest hustings. Each time Liz makes a comment about a country and attacks it, I'm going to put a flag up representing that country and it's going to stay on here until the very end of the video and you will see how much damage she does. First, Scotland. On the campaign, Nicola Sturgeon is an attention seeker. And here's the full clip of her talking about Nicola Sturgeon. That I really believe we are a family and we're better together. And I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. Even the presenter realises how bad an answer that is. He reiterates the question. And Liz, what does she do? She doubles down. It's a bit difficult when she's first minister, though. She's, she's got a democratically elected position, yeah, just yeah. as you would. I'm sorry, she's an attention seeker, Seb. That's what she is. So in Liz's family, if the child is annoying or attention seeking, the plan is to ignore them, which is also quite interesting because she interacted with some kids recently. Watch the clock and see how long it takes for her to actually say anything. <laughs> so you don't have to find your head, babe. Whoa, why have we got glitter on? <laughs> <laughs> don't finally let them off. Nicholas, let's <laughs> Imogen and Annie, do you want guys want to introduce yourselves? As long as they can stop flashing the light. Uh, <laughs> 17 seconds of saying absolutely nothing to a bunch of kids they're meant to be visiting. That's that's up there with Ricky Gervais's level of cringe. Mark Drakeford. Mark, Mark Drakeford is the is the low energy version of Jeremy Corbyn. This is Liz Truss's words. Yeah, I, uh, I Macron, still agree with myself. The, the, the by jury the way. is out on. The jury's out on whether Monsieur Macron is friend or foe. Here's what the current Prime Minister had to say about that. I've always had very good relations with Emmanuel Macron, and, uh, you, know, you know, he's a... He's a Emmanuel Macron, a très bon, très bon buddy. This played probably into the hands of Emmanuel Macron. He'll probably use this as some sort of leverage when he meets or talks with Liz Truss. But also, this is what he had to say. Si on pas capable... If France and Britain cannot say whether they're friends or enemies, <laughs> That's not a neutral term. Then we're headed for serious problems. However, Macron added that without a doubt, Britain is a friend of France, whoever its leaders are. Still. So, France, Scotland, Wales. Okay, so this is what she had to say about Donald Trump. Is Donald Trump friend or foe? <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I am not going to comment on Well, you're happy to political... comment about all the others. Well, I, I didn't comment on Macron, actually. I said that... Um... You said the jury's out. Well, that's not so, commenting as far as well, I can, as reverse, far as I can say. And... Except it is. It's highly provocative. Macron seems to think it's provocative or he's using it as leverage as a form of provocation. And on top of that, the previous Prime Minister thinks it's not a very good thing to say. Turn you know, to let me, Donald let, Trump, let, friend or foe? Look, I am not going to comment on future, future potential presidential runners. We have to work with who is in the White House. So a little history lesson for you. The British have had this problem before where they've had to work with people in powerful positions, such as Lloyd George meeting Adolf Hitler here, although Lloyd George at this point was a former prime minister. It did not go down well. Members of the royalty also met with Hitler and congratulated him on his great work. When people do wrong things, you are meant to stand up against them. And Donald Trump 
led and orchestrated an attempted coup on the United States. And it'll get better with Liz Truss because she makes comment about democracy and sovereignty. The United States is our closest ally. I have met both President Trump when he was in office and President Biden, now he's in office. And my priority is working to promote freedom and democracy around the world. So let me be absolutely clear here. She has now just hacked off the Biden administration. She is also completely ignoring the fact that Donald Trump attempted a coup to take over the United States government because he lost a democratic election. And Liz Truss doesn't want to say anything because there's a chance that the Donald Trump administration will be back in power within two years. I'm predicting it won't. I think it's going to split the Republican Party, but that's for another video. And to work with our American right. allies against what are okay. some very severe threats we're facing. Well, I would say an attempted coup is a serious threat to democracy. Look. Including an assertive China, ah. a belligerent Russia. A belligerent Russia that financed trolls and advertising during the Brexit campaign and financed Tory MPs who are more likely to support Brexit. You know, ah. that, that is my priority. So and, I take... and both the United States and France are freedom-loving democracies, and I, I work with both of them, whoever the... the leader is. Then I can take from that. So she's verbally attacked China and Russia, and then reiterated whoever's in power will work with, even if they've done an attempted coup. Then I can take from that that President Xi is a foe. Well, what, what I would say you about just China... You assertive China, so he must be a foe. No, I'm not going to use the word foe. She won't say it there, but she said it repeatedly in interviews in the build-up to her election campaign. There is also longer-term concerns about the impact of China, uh, particularly on economic coercion and the fact that they are building up their military capabilities. And the UK has been a leading voice in the strategic concept, making sure we're focused on future be, challenges, as the as free well, world need to do, uh, is make sure that Taiwan has the ability to defend itself, that we continue to maintain peace in the Taiwan Strait. Now, this is interesting. It's a very delicate situation because Taiwan, according to China, belongs to China. And according to Taiwan, it's a separate sovereign nation. And actually, in fact, it's the original China. So you've got to be delicate with this situation. But Actually, going out openly on air and rearming Taiwan is pretty provocative. But what I will say is I am concerned about China's assertiveness. I do not believe that as a country we should become strategically dependent on China. I am working with our G7 allies to make sure that we build up our links with fellow freedom-loving democracies so we don't end up in the same position we were in with Russia, which is dependent on an authoritarian regime. All right. That is what I'm concerned are... about. What I'm concerned about is our own sovereignty and the large amount of cash that is obviously being funneled into London grad, I mean London, sorry, and being then used to support Tory members. That is a problem that no one is discussing at the moment. So I'm in no doubt that her comments will have upset and irritated the Biden administration and lumped her in with Boris Johnson, who they hate. But note that she avoided saying anything too negative about Donald Trump. She seemed to be quite good diplomatically on that level. However, have a listen to this question. If when you make your first trip to the White House, both Nick Clegg and Donald Trump ask to take you for a cocktail... Oh my God, what a choice! Yeah, who, <laughs> with whom would you share your cocktail? Well, I think I'd focus on meeting President Biden. I hope you can start to see why I made the Frank Drebin comparison. Because within a few weeks, not even being in power, but just being Foreign Secretary and attempting to gain power, Liz Truss had the ability to have a reset on international relations, and she's wrecked them. She's contradicted herself, she's attacked people within the United Kingdom, and she's attacked European allies. And this isn't even her in power, which I think is very likely at this moment. Could be wrong, but I think it will be Liz Truss based on what everyone's saying on the news. Before we get on to the final cringe clip, just want to say a big, big thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube supporters. If you'd like to become one, there are links in the description. Don't worry, we'll ask them to go away in a minute. They're, they're very, there's some very frightening members of the lobby over here. <laughs> no, these, these people follow me around. So.
The problem, the problem with being a politician is you can't fire the press. <laughs> Where's Bob from? He's, um, yeah, yeah. Boris is back at number 10 Downing Street. Why are they kicking out? Yeah. Why are they kicking him out? He's got a victim. Do me a favour, when you yes. come Prime Minister, evict him. <laughs> well, he will, he will have to move out at that point. Though. It's only more than Kat as being Prime Minister. But this is so bit. awkward. Harry, would you like to show us what, what you're doing here at Little Miracles? Maybe we could take a walk round.